welcome back. Now that November is here, many of us are looking towards Thanksgiving and it can be stressful. That's one of the things that we have to do. We have to cook, we have to clean, but have no fear. We have Chris and Meredith with Chef Russ Palmer from Bush's Fresh Food Market with ideas. And hey guys, you have aprons on. Look how official we look here. We have aprons, we have we're ready Gloves, to go. We're getting ready here. This is excellent. Uh, <laughs> Chef Russ, thanks a lot for coming in here this morning. Really appreciate this. Thanks, now, Matt. first off, before we get to this little demo, tell us about all the awesome stuff going on for Thanksgiving at Bushes. Yeah, sure. We have amazing selection of sides for Thanksgiving. All of them will be available the week of Thanksgiving. And we have, as you can see here, the Brussels sprouts, roasted potatoes, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, and of course, beanie, green bean casserole. I can't wait till the week of Thanksgiving. I know. This looks so good. Okay. And this is so tempting. It's all ready to go. You don't have to make this. That's the best part, I That's think. That's the best part. So, Russ, you have us uh, doing some chores this morning. Yep. Walk us through what we're doing. Yeah, so we're going to make one of the holiday sides. It's roasted butternut squash. As you can see, we have here we're doing a little salt can I put a little in there yeah you sure right. can I like Pepper it salty and some canola <laughs> oil here trying to keep my sodium levels up yeah sure so <laughs> you're gonna roast some butternut squash and as you see there's a whole one way over here and yep. I've got some cut here um, just cutting down and peeling the sides and getting the seeds out as people normally do before they roast it. Mm -hmm. uh, two this, tablespoons of this? Sorry to interrupt, but you just let me know on devices two over here. perfect. Okay, oh, yes. excellent, perfect. You're going to toss that together. I'm going to do it with my hands. And put it yeah, on Yeah, might as well. You're wearing pan. gloves. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and then so the we have a lot of different ingredients. We sure table. do. This is the other part of the dish. As you can see, we have butter over here. Mm -hmm. And then once the butter is melted, we would add a little bit of almonds. Okay. And then toast those, kind of just mixing around. And then we're adding some cranberries. Beautiful. I wish in my kitchen, you know, it were perfectly portioned out like this every that time. That would be nice. Oh, yes. is, it's always a mess of bags and crumbs. If you don't want to stop by, let me know, Russ. Yeah. I'll make time. Not everybody gets a sous chef, right? Yeah. This, is, this is great. <laughs> little, so is that sage? That is. That's fresh Beautiful. sage. Um, we, of course, putting this is our finished butternut so, squash so here. So this turned into that. Right, so we're going to roast that in the oven at 350 degrees for okay. about 20 minutes. Okay. And this is what we get. You can see there's a little bit of color and the seasonings on there. And you combine but we're just it with the melted butter. Adding that, yeah, we're adding that all in there. Um, but basically, once we have that all in there, we're adding a little bit of maple syrup. Oh, Ooh, nice touch. Right? Some Parmesan cheese, which is a very, a very Italian kind of flavor profile. Nice. And we get those, we kind of mix them around. And this is our finished product over here, which Beautiful. is delicious. That looks, looks a lot so better good. than what we concocted, Meredith. <laughs> That's why I want to go to Bushes to get, there, right. to get the real meal done right there. That's yeah, great. you can get everything at Bushes, especially um, that wonderful, those wonderful flavors, which is our holiday side. Yeah, I'm going to take a that. mental that note of this. I'm going to come take a picture of these so I can remember this recipe because this <laughs> looks really good. So, what are some common mistakes? mistakes people make during Thanksgiving dinner prep. Yeah, sure. So like uh, for cooking a turkey, right? Mm -hmm. So a tur cooking a turkey is a big deal to people, um, especially if we're going to roast a turkey whole. You know, I highly recommend having gloves when you're working with the turkey, right? Being safe and then utilizing a thermometer and cooking the turkey to 165 degrees, okay. which will make a beautiful delicious moisture. And if people uh, do stuffing these days, I remember like in the olden days, you just used to do it right in the bird. How do people uh, prefer yeah. it now? Do you have to like put a bag in it and then put it in the bird? What I, what I would recommend is um, having a different, like a, a side casserole dish. Put your stuffing in there and maybe uh, when you start roasting it, cover it with the aluminum foil for a while and kind of have some broth in there, but cook it separate from the turkey. Separate, all right, that's yeah. good advice. Okay, so Bushes, what are you up to, like 16 locations now? We are 16 stores, Metro Detroit and Ann Arbor. Okay, so once again, when's the Thanksgiving stuff available and if they want to order it, pre-order it, how do they do it? They can go online, bushes.com. Um, you can also order in store. And of course, um, you can get everything you need for your Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, you know, Chef best. Russ, you almost convinced me, almost convinced me to make my own squash for Thanksgiving. But not enough <laughs> to not go to Bushes and just buy it. Okay? Yeah, I got it. It looks so good, it doesn't it, It looks great. Meredith? This all looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really nice ideas. Thank uh, you. All right, Thanksgiving still, my